It's a rainy and grungy day here at Muddy Hard Crash Field in Micro Hard, Washington. It's a perfect sloppy stage for some NFL football or a tribute to Woodstock 94. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Carolina Panthers battle the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. First down and three. The week the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Kapow! Second and three. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the rep out of his misery. First down in a mile. That's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot! That's why we love the MFL! Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, and he laterals at the last second! Nifty move there! They'll be washing bloody footprints off the defense's jerseys after a run like that.
And that'll bring up third. And the defense jumps on sides, trying to mutilate the QB. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, catch the say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. Second down and long. It's a glitter shot. And the defense calls Thunderclap the offense's toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that zapper song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go, Don't Treat the Yellow Snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, they didn't taste so good. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to fight it. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. Second down and ten. I'm not going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from top. Their home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. He refuses to go down. And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I got to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Third down and five. for a first down. And it's first and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays.
and it's first and ten. And he picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. one we're all tied up we'll be right back second down and five and that's a run for no gain Second down and more than the QB would like. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man, Bricks, you've got to love a player who goes down fighting. and ten. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense. Schmuck. Second down and ten. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Oh, with a brutal hit. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. Second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. A touchdown saving tackle. Oh. And coach isn't liking that call. His head just exploded. The offense has only two quarterbacks remaining on the roster. They better be careful because when those guys die, it's forfeit city. And it's first and ten. Defense had enough with this ref and jumped off sides to kill him. <laughs> you gotta take bribes if you're a ref, Bricks. They get paid peanuts next to these players. It's hard to make a decent living. It is, but even harder when you're dead. And 
It's first and ten. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the... If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? I won't even get out of it. First and ten. This is your brain, and this is and there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have been the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And he finds open space, is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet jet. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball knocked out. Fumble. He's got a case of fumbleitis. And it's first and ten. That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and six. Turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. You idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. First down and three. Great 
play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feeling. Stop it. Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. First down and three. They're going for two here. At this point, with multiple interceptions. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Drills one in for the first down. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. First down and six. without showboating. They want more points or they're going for two. Agree. Uh, you're just saying that because he'd rip your face off and use it for book binding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys like playing high risk and this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. And it's first and ten. Quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? Second down and a lot. <laughs> and they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Another interception. This, oh, and that one's going to hurt. 
He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. He is fighting. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Eh, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. This guy's a brick should have. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that. And he pumps his way out of that tackle. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And that's a run for no game. Then it's not really a run, is it? And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. I think they want to hit those last two runners for this outcome. Second down and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, with seven crazed defenders coming after him, that's not easy. Ah, the old quarterback shellac play. The micro-hard mutilators were soundly mutilated today and forfeit the game. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid-raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Newton Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until...